Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Shania and today I'll be making salmon nuggets in the deep fryer. So if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe and let me know how I did. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna cut the back of the skin off. So you're gonna cut the thin layer right right behind the skin and the salmon. And it took me a minute, so I'm gonna end up fast forwarding through my little episode because it took me a little more time than it needed to. But you can pull it off, do whatever you need once you get that cut in. However you feel comfortable getting it off is how you get it off. So this is me cutting mines up, trying to get it off but I got it off and I'm okay with that. So now you want to cut them vertically straight down, depending on how big your salmon is, is depending on how many pieces you want, but you want to make sure that they're nice and thick so that, you know, you can have some nice juicy nuggets. So you cut them vertically right down, straight down. And then now you want to gather it up and you want to cut them um, horizontally. So at this point, you are cutting them to prepare them for nuggets. So you want them to be nice and thick so that they can be, you know, big enough and not too thin. So this is how they should look, you know, decent, nice, proportionate sizes. So these are my personal favorite seasonings, especially when it comes down to cooking seafood. I will put the description on measurements down below. I personally didn't use any measurements, but it's up to you because I know how I like my food. So you can use these seasonings or you can use your own favorite seasonings. It's up to you. You can use more or less of what I'm using. It's not going to change the fact of how your food come out as long as you season it well and you know. Is to your liking. So at this point, I had messed up. I opened the wrong side. And if you know parsley, nothing coming out of the side that barely has holes in it. I don't even know why they make that side. But they do, and it is what it is. So I love my garlic powder, especially when it comes down to seafood. Garlic powder will just, mm, 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 just make you want to smack your mama. <laughs> but okay, so now you seasoning it up and you mixing it together and you making sure oop, those two weren't to just jump on out. They was not trying to get up cooked at all. So you mixing it up. And this is how they will look once they are seasoned, you know, real good. So then you have your all purpose flour, you just dump them in and you mix it up. Now, you can use a bowl whatever you feel comfortable with. I personally like the um, bags because I can just shake, 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 woo, woo, just like that, like just shaking it. That's all I have to do. And you want to make sure that they get all the way covered so that, you know, when you dump them in, just like now, so you bloop, 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 you just dumping them in. So you only need like three to five minutes. So this is the final product. They're going to be nice and juicy and good. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and let me know how I did. Thanks.